Wow, I look like such a mom right now, like an 80s mom with the fluffy hair. <laughs> what the heck? I just took my hair out of a ponytail. That's why. That's why I should be doing this. Hold on. Just cleaning. Hello, it's Daytree. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a answering all of your questions type of thing, introducing you into my new life, pretty much what it is, because I kind of transitioned from being at home living with my parents during quarantine to going all over the place and not really telling you guys what's happening and there's always a million questions and I never actually answer them. <laughs> wow, should I put my hair up or should I leave it down? I'm kind of, wow. We got Chris over there editing. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be in the video too after he's done editing. Our new YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel together that we've been posting on every single day, but I'll get more into that in like one second. Also, I went to the mall yesterday and I got a new fit and it really doesn't make sense, but it makes, you know, it ignore that hair. It makes sense. Okay. You know, you know what? One question, biggest question is, where am I living right now? Cause clearly it's not Canada. <laughs> I mean, I have a tan. So I've been living in Mexico for the past five months now. And we've been living from Airbnb to Airbnb, but right now we're living at a resort, which sounds crazy, but wait, I'll show you. Literally as I'm filming this, the ring light right there, there's people down there at a, at a pool <laughs> with a little mini bar. But yeah, I don't think we were actually planning on staying in Mexico for this long, but Christian's passport expired. So we've kind of just been chilling here until that gets sent back and worked out because he's renewing it in between like mailing to the conserv conservatory, con I don't know what it's called. Consulate, it's a consulate. But it's actually really been good. This is not the worst place to be stuck and it's beautiful outside all the time. Um, we're living on a resort, which is wild. I never thought I would ever say those words. Also, this video... Another question I get all the time is, why did I cut my hair and why did I stop wearing makeup? Not so much the makeup one, but a lot with the hair one. So, cool story is my hair's always been pretty short-ish since you guys have like known me. It's, I was wearing extensions for a really, really long time. Basically, if you want me to get more into it, I can make a more in-depth YouTube video about it, but basically the extensions, I wore them so much for three years straight and they ended up wrecking my hair. And it wasn't just that, it was the bleach. The constant bleach also wrecked my hair. My hair got to a point where it was so broken, it had to be cut like up to here, like a little bob. So that really broke me for a while. After that, I was completely like torn apart because my whole identity was attached to my hair in my mind. Oh look, you can see me. The lighting is going down. Pretty much my whole identity was attached to my hair for a really long portion of my life. So having not having that hair tore me apart for a while and it made me question a lot of things. So I had a lot of like issues to deal with done. I thought I, I was super ugly with short hair, so I just stopped wearing makeup because I was like, there's no difference anyways, it doesn't even matter. Because if you want me to go more in depth about the story of my extensions and my hair loss and my emotional attachment to it and what I did to kind of recover from that, I will do a full video on that. But as for makeup now, I did take a really big like break from it for like four months and my skin is looking really good without foundation. Ooh. Ooh, look at that point. The only makeup I wear now, when I do wanna wear it, is for me. It's not for other people, and it's very minimal. It's mascara and it's eyebrow gel. I'm gonna set up your seating area, baby. Hey. Uh, you I, smell good. Thank you. Let's go have a shower. This is my boyfriend. Hi. <laughs> so, Christian, yes, he's my boyfriend. We've been dating for <laughs> a while. For a few months now? I think like 
Yeah. yeah. We've been yeah. together for like eight months. Eight months. Yeah. We didn't make it official until two months ago because we wanted to really make sure. And then right after that, we announced it publicly. But if you yeah. haven't known, if you didn't know, Hi. <laughs> if you haven't seen the vlog channel, we post every single day over like yes, the last year. True. We have a vlog channel together that we started, which is why I haven't actually been active on TikTok or this channel, is because I've been going full in the vlog channel every day. Full yeah. in. It's called Organic Rangers. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Rangers. Well, we can see like the mirror in the background, just seeing our backs. I know. You can see my bun. I'll leave a link below if you want. See? My eyebrow. So I'm so quiet, I'm so hungry, my belly is like <laughs> rumbling. We just went from the we just got back from the gym, so I just showered and yeah. He needs food hungry. in his tummy. Yeah, I need some food. Okay. Tengo hombre. Tengo hombre. Um a lot of people have asked me if I miss my mom and I really do. I miss my parents and all my family and all my friends back in Canada. I really hope we get to see them eventually. Maybe when we don't have to pay three grand go back to Canada to quarantine in a hotel. Here is like really perfect and I get to FaceTime them all the time, but I do really miss them. Mexico has really good snacks that are spicy. I like the spice. Dang, I'm trying to think of any other questions. Mm. We are in the middle of editing a vlog for our channel and uploading it right now. We're a little late to upload it today. Probably the latest we've ever been, but it's gonna be fine. I can make a sausage. Yes, please. You want like a sausage bowl? Yes. With like rice and like vegetables? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make some. There's balloons everywhere. Dang it, this bell, yo. I'm gonna make like a vegetable rice bowl for us for dinner tonight. It's wild. In Mexico, the water's not very safe. Um, oh wait, I'm gonna get the ring light over here. Hold up. In New Mexico, the water isn't safe to drink. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. You still can't see. Okay, wait, did you see me or the food? I cut up these vegetables to roast them, cook rice, cook sausage, fake sausage, and kind of just like have like a rice bowl today. I'm gonna combine this YouTube video and our vlog while I'm cooking, okay? True. To like the YouTube video I'm making answering questions. But right now I'm gonna talk about manifestation. Swim the champ the champ win, babe. Yeah. Oh, I heard some weird things about broccoli. What weird thing? From Dan Man. Yeah, I was just gonna talk about um dun, 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 uh, Oh, I manifested Chris. Aww. I didn't know who he was, but I manifested finding myself somebody who was completely uh, your dance moves? Yeah, best dance moves in the world. I'm scared of this broccoli now. It was kind of like, when did we start implementing like learning how to manifest and how to like create your reality to what you want it to be rather than like struggling? When did um, we start to implement that? Well, I did it a long time before. Yeah. But then I stopped and went down this path of super depression. And you reintroduced me to manifesting and meditating. And then it's been an uphill since then, for the beginning of the year. Aww. Uh, people know what manifestation is though, but they don't really know how to implement it. So what I started doing to like manifest my life and turn it into what I wanted it to be, it was solely through doing it through meditation because to meditate is to get beyond your subconscious. Oh my gosh, I'm literally reciting jokes. So what your subconscious is, is 95% of your brain that you can't control unless you can get into it. And the only way you can get into it is by meditating or hypnosis, which is kind of the same thing. You go driving, at first you're conscious because you're learning how to drive, but then there's a certain point where the brain's like, oh, I know how to do this. And then it takes over. Then you don't even have to think about it anymore because subconscious is doing it. 
If you do that with everything in life to save you energy, you're programming your body or your subconscious mind to run for you when you're not, so you don't have to be conscious of this on it all the time. But and then some your of those brain programs, is working for you. Some of those programs are not working for you, so you gotta switch them out and make them work for you. Yeah, and through meditation, you get to discover what programs that you have hardwired into your brain that aren't working for you. To make switches. To make switches to make them work for you. But yeah, the brain can't tell the difference between what it's experiencing externally or internally. It's creating emotional reactions, reprogramming neurons in your brain. Yeah. It can't tell the difference. So if you can shut your eyes off, then you don't have to react to the outside world that you created or you saw from past subconscious beliefs. And there's a ton. There's tons of different um, studies done to show and to prove that your brain doesn't can't tell the difference between when it's thinking a thought or when it's actually doing the event. Yeah, there's no difference to the brain. But I used that for the past eight months practicing that, and I'm finally I'm at such a healthy place right now where I'm happy with everything that I'm doing. And I'm actually right. like really loving life. Welcome to Cooking with Chris. Beautiful. Broccoli. Low key, I want to have my own cooking show when I'm older. When I grow up. Um, I'm going to chop garlic up and add a bunch of seasonings and a little bit more oil on top just so they taste good. Because you need to season your food. I live by that. I've been living by that rule since I've been 12 years, no, 9 years old. You season it. And voila, a vegetable vegan. Ball. Lots of love. Thank you. Look at this beautiful bowl. Okay, it looks weird with flash on. How do you like your bowl? Bowl. Thanks, baby.